good Saturday evening, everyone. Um, Louie and I and my mom just got... Louie! Just got back to the beach um, from... From... Um, Burlington, North Carolina, where we were staying for, to see that my doctor, orthopedic surgeon at Duke, we were hoping to hear from him yesterday, but we didn't. So hoping that, I don't know, maybe they'll, he'll call me on Monday. Um, but we came down here. My dad drove from Tennessee. Um, he had to go back for work. And so he drove down here this morning to meet us here. We're going to be here for like maybe three days just to get away and have something just to take my mind off of everything and um the next week I have my final little I have like a, an ablation on my back so um hopefully that'll help my pain um but anyway we're just gonna continue um we're just gonna try to enjoy some time here at the beach it's cold, so no beach actually, but um, I'll have a good time just sitting on the balcony looking at the marina and the intercoastal, which is just gorgeous. All right, I'll check in with y'all later and I'll definitely update you um, when I hear from the doctor. Hey guys, so I thought I'd vlog this on having an autonomic dysreflexia episode. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good way to explain what AD is. I guess it's a, my cheeks get red so you can see this. I'm looking at my mom to help me <laughs> explain. She's much better. She was she used to be a registered nurse so she's good at explaining these things. So I get a red rash and a rash on my chest and a headache um, and if it goes on too long then I get nauseous I'm actually not nauseous right now I have a headache like right here in the back of my head um, and I have spasticity in my legs I don't know if you can tell yeah and my blood what was my first what was my blood pressure 154 158 over 109 I took a tramadol and it's down to 158 over 97. Right? Yeah. I've got ice on my knee. You're sitting upright. And I'm sitting upright because that's very important. You should not lay down when you have AD. And Louie is on my legs giving me deep pressure therapy to help my spasticity. But AD is a reaction to a pain stimulus. Yes. So, AD is a reaction to a pain stimulus when you have a spinal cord injury or you don't have sensation and like anywhere can get it if you don't have sensation or you don't have full sensation. So for, and it usually only happens to people with like a spinal cord lesion of T6 or above. However, I know people who have had it with lower um, lesion and a uh, spinal cord injury level, so. Um, but it's basically my body's way of telling me that something hurts because I don't feel the full extent of it. It's my body's way of letting me know that there's something wrong and I need to take care of it, so. Well, the message that's being sent to your brain gets intercepted at the injury area. And oh. so, it doesn't make it all the way to your brain. Oh. So that's what sets off the autonomic dysreflexia. Oh. See, told you. She's better at explaining these things. All right, Louie's working on alerting. I'm trying to get him to smell my my scent alert. Alert. And trying to get him to come up with some way to get my, like, identify, identify my AD scent. Because that's what, I did a bunch of research and they say that that's the best way to get your dog to differentiate between like your normal scent and an AD scent. And then hopefully he'll be able to warn me when it's happening. All right. Hey guys, um, so it's after the autonomic dysreflexia episode. I'm in bed with my knee 
elevated and the heat pack on it to see if that'll help the AD. Um, well, the AD is is definitely better. My blood pressure came down, um, but I have my blood pressure cuff near me in case I need it in the middle of the night. Um, but hopefully the heat will bring some comfort. Um, and I'll have a good night tonight. We're heading home tomorrow, so back to Tennessee. Hope I still haven't heard from my surgeon, and it's Tuesday, Wednesday, tomorrow. So, and I was supposed to hear Friday, if not Monday. So, I don't know. I hope good Wednesday morning, everyone. Oh gosh, I've got a lot to to update. Number one, we drove home from the beach yesterday. Um, it was so nice to be back in my bed because, for one main reason, because I have like a, uh, what is it called? A, the thing that holds the mattress. Why can't I think of that? Bed frame that like comes up. Like I have this remote and the head can come up and the feet can come up like the bottom and it makes my knee feel so much better to be like elevated so um that was nice i slept much better last night um but yesterday so let me give you a little bit of background because i think i've mentioned this a few times but um so i had my appointment at duke with the orthopedic surgeon and basically he was unsure what the plan will be for surgery just because he's not sure if he's comfortable given my complex medical um medical issues and so he was going to take my case to consensus and he said that he would give me a call either I had my appointment on Monday and he said he'd give me a call on Friday um or Monday being today's Wednesday Tuesday Monday well I was really hoping to get it on Friday obviously because I'm like waiting on pins and needles but when that didn't come and Monday arrived and I didn't get a call I sent a um my chart like message my chart is where the like the patient portfolio is where you can message your doctors and stuff and um so I sent a message that night Monday evening just saying you know I'm on pins and needles I just wanted to make sure that I'm not supposed to call that I'll get a call from you or I'll get a my chart message with you know how consensus went um aka meeting with um all the surgeons to get their opinion and I could see that the surgeon or that someone had read the message but I hadn't gotten a response. That's fine. I expected that I get a call on Tuesday, being that my message was read. I never got a call on Tuesday. And then yesterday, I ended up calling them just to, like, make sure that, I don't know, make sure that um, I wasn't missing calls or whatever. Um, and they ended up, long story short, I realized that the PA had messaged me and just said that she's been trying to reach the doctor as well and hasn't been able to. So I hope that everything is okay. I'm assuming that he's not been in the office or I hope that he's not sick or hope that, you know, there's not some sort of emergency, but I do have to say, I feel a lot better knowing that it's not just me that's not getting a response. Um, so I'm trying to be really, really patient, um, but it's hard, obviously. Um, so anyway, I, this morning, I just, just in case, like, he was to come back and say, um, that they're not comfortable doing the surgery, I called around, so I called UNC just to get an appointment on the books, because a new patient appointment you usually takes forever to get in and UNC only had their first available was in January so I scheduled it anyway just in case and was put on the waiting list you have to schedule appointment to be put on the waiting list so I've got that and then I also called Vanderbilt which is in my state of Tennessee um 
and got an appointment for like next week. Now it's the end of next week, so I'm hoping that I'll hear something by then, but I just don't wanna wait around and then get told that they're not comfortable doing it. So I've gotta find somebody new. And then by that time, it's too late to get an appointment before the end of the year. So anyway, I'm hoping that. I hope that Duke works out, obviously. And if not, I hope I get a call from UNC saying that they have an appointment available just because logistically wise, it's more convenient to have it done in North Carolina due to having family uh, that lives 45 minutes away. So it's like you can drive, my mom can drive back and forth every day. Um, well, Nashville is too far away to like drive back and forth. So it's like two and a half hours. So, um, two and a half hour drive. So it, it, I guess it could be done, but it's just not convenient. So anyways, that's where we're at. I was in a lot of pain yesterday. I basically, once we got home, I just laid on the couch and, um, uh, had my knee elevated and had the heating pad on it. I don't know if ice or heat does better, so I'm trying to just do both equally, but, ugh, I pretty much am live like, my days are either in a hot bath or in on the couch or in my bed with my knee elevated and heat or ice on it. It's just, like, so frustrating because I feel, I feel like my body is not deteriorating, but it's losing muscles and, and memory of like my recovery. And it's gonna, I'm afraid it's gonna forget how to move and function once I'm able to get up. So, but that's really it that's going on all my, oh, the big thing that happened yesterday. So, you know, I was, we were coming home from the beach yesterday because I, was supposed to have my back, my little surgery on my back, the last, the third, the last of three procedures. And they usually call you the day before with your arrival time. And it was like, they usually call in the morning. And I, it was like two o'clock and I hadn't heard. So I called them and I just said, I just want to make sure since I've been traveling um, that, you know, my service wasn't spotty and I didn't miss a call from y'all with my arrival time. And they were like, oh, we don't have you down to come in for surgery tomorrow. And I was like, oh, good Lord. So anyway, this, I talked to the schedule, the scheduler who scheduled me and she was like, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. I guess I didn't hit the save button, but what we can do is put you down for Monday, um, and hope insurance approves the surgery and the in the time so really only gives them the last part of yesterday today and tomorrow to approve it so hopefully it gets approved but we'll see so there's that um I'll probably update you the next time you'll see me is which to you it's going to be in like three seconds but for me it's going to be probably a few days until I hear from the surgeon or my surgery so um, I'll see you then. <laughs> Good Sunday evening, everyone. Um, it's been a rough past few days. I've had a lot of autonomic dysreflexia, but the good thing is, is Louie has alerted to one of them, which was really surprising. He, um, alerted before my blood pre before I even knew I had dysreflexia, um, so that was pretty cool. Um, this is how I pretty much am 24 seven. Heating pad and this little elevation thing. Swelling to bed, still haven't heard from the doctor, the surgeon, hopefully I'll hear from him tomorrow with a game plan. Um, but a lot of pain, a lot of spasticity, a lot of AD, no bueno. I'll keep y'all updated. Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Um, I am at day three of infusion. I didn't, um, I didn't film any of day one or two. Um, so I'm 
so glad to be on my last and final day. I'm so tired. I'm ready to get my port out because it's been really uncomfortable. I'm ready to be able to take a shower because you can't shower with your port accessed or it can get an infection in it. Um, so I will um, talk to y'all soon and I'll give you an update then.